Now for our colorants today, these are the colors my daughter chose. They were samples that we had gotten when we placed orders with Nurture Soap. So normally I like to use natural colorants, but we're going to have some colorful fun with this batch. Um, so I mixed about uh, half a teaspoon of mica with about two teaspoons of canola oil for the blue, the purple, and the pink. And then the white is a little of Brazilian clay mixed in canola oil. And the black is, of course, activated charcoal, which I also mixed with canola oil. And I'm just coloring as desired. Uh, you could add more charcoal or more white Brazilian clay. It depends on whatever shade that you're going for. Now for this technique, we're trying to keep our trace fairly thin, maybe slightly medium to thin. And so I'm going to be simultaneously filling up these two pouring containers with alternating colors in the Clyde slide. And one of the keys, I think, to getting a nice design is to make sure your colors are contrasted each time you pour a little color down the center. Um, that just helps in the overall design. So I'm filling these simultaneously rather than filling one, setting it aside and filling the other because I can stir and mix uh, at, kind of at the same time so that when I do the kiss pour into my slab mold, the two pitchers will have approximately the same texture. One shouldn't be thicker than the other. Now this is the very fun part right here for the kiss pour where you kind of kiss the two pitchers together and you pour them as one. And the slower that you pour, perhaps the more feathering that you get, but just, um, and that's why you can see the importance of keeping your batter pretty fluid because it needs to flow. And you can see that my batch is, it's not quite ricing, but it is getting like that texture. And I attribute that to the peppermint essential oil that I use. Whenever I use peppermint, this is what happens. But it's still, um, it's still poured very well, despite looking like chalky in texture like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do another Clyde slide with the rest of the soap batter that I have and pour into my soap mold. So I'll be pouring at two different times into my soap mold, the same technique. It is 24 hours later and my slab is ready to cut so I'm going to be cutting it into three different sections and then I'm cutting each of those three sections into five different bars and then I'm going to plane it and bevel it and you'll see that in the video ahead. 